Hey guys, in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to roast a leg of lamb. Now I'm going to be seasoning this up with some fresh garlic and rosemary, and I'm even going to use a little pesto sauce on the outside to create a nice little pesto crust. All right, so it's really delicious. I think you're going to love it. And I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm going to show you how to do it right after this. All right, let's get started and see what's in our recipe. All right, guys, here's our leg of lamb. And actually, this one is boneless. That's what I could find in my store. It was on sale, so it was a good deal, so I bought it. Now, it has netting over it, and the reason for that is so that it will hold together in one piece and stay it, keep its shape. Okay, we're gonna need some onions here. I just sliced up some, it's a yellow onion, and that's what we're gonna set our roast on. Here I have some fresh rosemary, and uh, some garlic that I sliced up into slivers so that we can, um, I'm gonna cut slits into the roast and, and put that into it. And behind the garlic there is some pesto sauce. You can certainly use homemade if you have it. I happen to not have any right now because I'm not growing any basil. So I'm using store-bought. And our last few ingredients here is I have some red wine, I've got some salt and pepper and some olive oil. Okay, so we want to start off by searing our roast. Now we can do it on the stove in a frying pan with a little bit of oil, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do it in the roasting pan so that I don't dirty another pan. Okay, so I'm just going to take my roast. This is about a three pounder, not particularly huge, but um, you know, good size, good size for my family. And I'm going to just pour a little bit of olive oil over it and uh, rub that in. And then I've got my oven on broil. And I'm going to place this on the rack so that the meat is about, I don't know, maybe two or three inches from the heating element. And we're going to broil this, sear it, for just, you know, five minutes and then I'm going to turn it over and do the other side. All right, it's been about three minutes and I think I want to turn it over. As you can see, it's starting to get a little golden brown there. I took the roast out of the oven. We, you know, seared it for about three to four minutes per side. You can see here that it has a nice golden brown to it and I'm letting it sit for about five minutes just so I, it cools off enough so that I can now handle it and get all of my seasonings in there. So I think we're good now. And what I'm gonna do is take my onion, we'll do this first, and I'm gonna move my roast out of the way and I'm gonna lay a little bit of onion down so that the roast can sit on top of it. And now we're gonna take our knife and I'm gonna make slits into the top of the roast. And I've got the fat, most of the fat side up. That's what I want. So you wanna be careful. Now I've got this netting to deal with and I don't wanna, you know, destroy that. So what I'm gonna make is little cuts into the roast so that I can insert my little slivers of garlic and rosemary. And I'm just gonna go around the roast and continue doing that. All those flavors are gonna infuse into our roast and give it some really delicious flavor. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on a little bit of salt and pepper. So I'm going to sprinkle that on top. And the last thing I want to add is my pesto sauce. Now you can either spoon this on or brush it on depending on how thick you want to brush put it. a little layer over the top. I love basil, so I think this is going to be a great addition to this. And I'm just going to put it on the one side. All right, so now all we have to do is pop this in the oven. This is going to cook for, you know, as a rule of thumb, 20 minutes to the pound. So, so I'm using a digital thermometer here with a probe in it, as you can see, and it has a cord that hangs out of your oven. And then you have your display unit uh, wherever you can put it. Mine, the only place I could put it was in my microwave. So anyway, I'm going to cook this to 135 degrees Fahrenheit uh, for a medium rare. So here's our leg of lamb. I just took it out of the oven. It was the temperature read 133 degrees Fahrenheit. So now I'm just going to let it rest and I'm going to place a little bit of foil over this for 20 minutes. So I transferred the roast over to a plate and I don't really have very many drippings in here but I'm going to use what I've got. I'm just going to take the onions out of here. I was going to make a little au jus with the wine. So I'm just going to turn the temperature up, medium heat. I'm going to add the wine. I also added a little bit of chicken broth in here. And I might add a little bit of salt to this. A little bit of pepper. 
And I'm just gonna throw in a couple sprigs of rosemary just for a little more flavor. And I'm gonna cook this over the heat for, you know, maybe 10 minutes or so. So while I'm waiting for that roast to cook, here's what I like to do. I like to play with Milo. All right, guys, we are ready to carve up our roast. It's been sitting here for about 25 minutes. And I'm gonna place it uh, right here onto my cutting board. And it sure smells good, I'll tell you that. So now we've gotta cut off the netting, which you wanna make sure that you get it all off because it wouldn't be too much fun to have that in your, in your food. So I'm just gonna cut all across the top here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and slice this up. It's not that hot, but certainly still warm enough to eat. And you can cut this into as thick a slices as you like, and it becomes, you know, a little more rare towards the center, but you know, you like it more well done. And of course the ends are where you wanna be. Look at that. That looks beautiful, guys. It really looks good. Now I also roasted up some roasted potatoes because my husband really loves roasted potatoes to go along with his lamb. So I've got a few of those on there. And then we have our little au jus if you wanna add a little bit of that on top of your meat. Spread that right over the top. It smells incredible in here, guys. All right, I think I should go in for a bite, huh? You think? All right, here we go, Let's see how it is. All right, there's that. Oh man, tender as can be. Mmm, that is mighty fine. Get a little my potatoes in there. Oh boy, I'm going in for another bite. That is really good. So tender, guys. It's just incredible. You gotta try it. Have a look at that, guys. Guys, I hope you'll try this recipe. It is delicious. You'll enjoy it. I promise, really. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe up there. I don't want you to miss any new videos that are coming out. And if you like this video, please share it and give me a thumbs up. And also leave me a comment. Let me know how you like it. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time in the next video.